would you please consider subscribing to my channel and giving my video a thumbs up? I'd really appreciate it. Oh, oh, oh. Once upon a time, in the heart of a grand and magical forest, there lived a little squirrel named Oliver. Oliver was not like the other squirrels in his community. While most squirrels spent their days gathering nuts, jumping from tree to tree, and playing without a care in the world, Oliver often found himself feeling a little afraid. He wasn't a big fan of climbing the tallest trees, and loud noises, like thunderstorms, would make him hide in his cozy little tree hole. One sunny morning, as Oliver sat on the edge of a branch nibbling on an acorn, he watched his friends happily leap from tree to tree. They were all so brave, he thought. They didn't seem to be scared of anything. As much as Oliver wanted to join them, the thought of missing a jump and falling to the ground made his tiny heart race. He sighed and continued nibbling on his acorn. Why don't you come join us, Oliver, called his best friend, Lucy, who was perched on the branch of a nearby oak tree. I, I don't know, Oliver replied hesitantly. The branches are high, and I don't want to fall. Lucy tilted her head and smiled. I know it seems scary, but it's fun once you try. You just have to be brave. We'll catch you if you fall. Oliver smiled weakly but remained on his own branch. Deep down, he wished he could be as courageous as Lucy and the others. What was bravery anyway? He thought about it a lot. Was it jumping from the highest branches without a second thought? Or was it something else entirely? One evening, as the sun set behind the distant mountains, casting a golden glow over the forest, a strange event occurred. A loud, fierce roar echoed through the trees, sending shivers down Oliver's spine. The roar belonged to a beast that the forest animals rarely ever saw, the great wolf. The great wolf lived deep in the forest, far away from the squirrels and other woodland creatures. It was said that he only came out when he was hungry, and his presence alone made the bravest of animals tremble. That night, the great wolf was on the prowl, looking for food. The animals of the forest began to panic. Birds flew to the highest branches, rabbits scurried into their burrows, and even the deer ran to hide behind the thickest trees. Oliver, too, was frightened. He quickly darted into his tree hole and covered himself with leaves, hoping the great wolf wouldn't come near. But then, something happened that Oliver did not expect. As he peered out of his tree hole, he saw Lucy trapped on a branch. In her rush to hide, her paw had gotten stuck in the crook of the branch, and no matter how hard she tried, she couldn't free herself. Her tiny cries for help echoed in the quiet forest, but no one dared to come near. Oliver's heart began to race. He looked around, hoping someone else would go help her, but all the animals were too scared. He was scared too, his paws trembled, and his breath quickened. What if the great wolf heard Lucy's cries and found her? He imagined the terrible scene in his mind, and fear nearly paralyzed him. But then, something stirred inside Oliver. A thought, small at first, but growing with each passing second, Lucy needs me. I can't let her be hurt. His fear was still there, but something stronger was rising within him, courage. He knew he had to act, even though he was scared. Maybe that's what bravery was, he thought not the absence of fear, but the strength to do what's right, even when you're afraid. Without thinking any further, Oliver darted out of his tree hole and ran toward Lucy. He leapt from one branch to another, his heart pounding in his chest. The wind howled through the trees, and the roar of the great wolf echoed again, sending a chill down his spine. But Oliver kept going, faster than he had ever moved before. When he reached Lucy, she was still struggling to free herself, her eyes wide with fear. Oliver, you came, she exclaimed, surprised but relieved. Don't worry, Lucy, I'll get you out, Oliver said, though his voice trembled slightly. He tugged at her paw, trying to free her from the branch's grasp. It wasn't easy, but with one final pull, Lucy's paw was free. Thank you, Oliver. Lucy said, hugging him tightly. But their relief was short-lived. Just then, the great wolf's glowing yellow eyes appeared in the distance, moving swiftly toward them. The ground shook slightly with each step the wolf took, and its low growl filled the forest air. Oliver's heart raced again, but this time, he knew what he had to do. Lucy, climb up to the highest branch as fast as you can, he whispered. I'll distract him. Lucy's eyes widened. 
But, Oliver, you can't. Go. Oliver insisted. I'll be fine. Reluctantly, Lucy obeyed, climbing to safety as fast as she could. Meanwhile, Oliver turned to face the approaching wolf. His tiny paws shook, and his chest felt tight, but he stood tall, trying to appear bigger and braver than he felt. The great wolf stepped closer, his massive form casting a shadow over Oliver. He let out a deep, rumbling growl, his eyes fixed on the little squirrel. Oliver's mind raced. What could he possibly do against such a large and powerful creature? Then, he remembered something his mother had told him when he was younger. Sometimes, courage isn't about fighting, but outsmarting. With that thought, Oliver came up with a plan. He darted away from the tree and led the wolf in the opposite direction. He zigzagged through the forest, his small size allowing him to slip between trees and bushes that were too thick for the great wolf to navigate. The wolf, frustrated by his inability to catch the quick little squirrel, let out a loud howl and began to slow down. Oliver, realizing his plan was working, kept running until he led the wolf deep into the forest, far away from the other animals. Finally, after what felt like hours, the great wolf gave up and retreated into the shadows of the forest, disappearing as quickly as he had come. Oliver, exhausted but triumphant, made his way back to Lucy and the other animals. As he arrived, he was greeted with cheers and applause from his friends. Even the older squirrels looked at him with newfound respect. You were so brave, Oliver, Lucy said, running up to him and hugging him tightly. You saved me. Oliver blushed, his little heart swelling with pride. I was scared, he admitted, but I knew I had to do something. Being brave doesn't mean you're not afraid. It just means you do what's right, even when you're scared. The animals nodded in agreement, and from that day forward, Oliver was known throughout the forest as the bravest squirrel of all. Not because he was the strongest or the fastest, but because he had learned that true bravery comes from the heart. As the days passed, Oliver found himself more confident in everything he did. He started climbing higher branches, playing with his friends, and even exploring new parts of the forest. He still felt fear from time to time, but now he knew that being brave wasn't about never being scared it was about facing your fears and doing what you know is right. And so, Oliver and his friends lived happily ever after in their magical forest, where courage and kindness always triumphed. The End